siguro sa akin, ano, we didn't start out well din talaga kanina. Maraming kaming early calls kayo as well as sa mga bigs namin. Dapat kaya push namin sa maganda yung defense namin. Playing as a team in a tough situation is, is crucial. No matter how hard it is, you know, yung, yung execution namin, really team group ba na. Kasi chapter si game, uh, matalo ka sa sitwasyon na nito. Siyempre, hindi, hindi talaga magiging madaling ang hotel. Ang yung nangyari kay Xavier kanina, eh, si Kevin Sierra, very close to kay Xavier. Siyempre, naisip yung hindi kanya. Siyempre, hindi natin ma-expect na madali rin po yun yung dinahan. Right now, kasi ang ano, uh, schedule natin siya for MRI just to find out kung ano ang talagang nangyari. Hopefully, sana na hindi naman ganun kagrabe. Uh, hindi ko siya nakausap ko about kung gumila rin ba siyang crack or pop after yung point. Kaya kaya sabi ko, importante, knowing yung team naman, hindi naman ito yung team na yun, know, just susuko lang naman yun. Uh, yung pag pagpulati yung bangon namin from my life. Sa akin, challenge, gano'n naman eh, kahit sinong kalaban mo, iba-iba naman ang pwede gawin sa'yo. Importante nandito, again, kung anong ginagawa, anong response mo sa ginagawa sa'yo. Meron kami yung chance na, you know, to do it better sa team, to overcome when we are tired. Kung ano naman ang kaharapin namin ng Monday, kaharapin namin namin. So far, it's been a game of starts. Obviously, not the result we wanted, but comparing to game one, part of the reason why we won the game was uh, we were able to you know, have a strong start, able to dictate what we won. In this game, obviously, Ateneo came out as expected, you know, with their backs against the wall. Pretty much doing this, the same thing we did in the first game. So props to them, we credit them for their, for their adjustment. In the second half, we thought we had multiple chances um, to keep the game closer, but we were not just able to execute on both ends. So definitely, we're gonna watch the game tonight and the next few days, and hopefully we can make the right adjustments and execute them on Monday. Any update on Zayt's knee? Right now, wala pa, kasi we're scheduling uh, yung, yung assessment sa kanya. Yung medical team kasi namin, um, papacheck niya. So, even even us at this point, we're we're, we're waiting. Sure, you guys saw he had a hard time uh, walking. You know, kaya, um, even our medical team helped him out, carried him, and eventually, he Henry carried him out from the court to the dugout. So I guess that speaks a lot more than But I'm still hoping for the best. Obviously, this is only the <laughs> the professionals. So and hopefully, we can. I think what's crucial is masses. Uh, as, a, well, as expected, you know, whether this is a championship game or an elimination game, every time a team loses, the, the mood in the, in the locker room is always negative. Nobody's happy to lose. But this team has been resilient since, um, because we, we, we have pretty much the same, you know, core players, uh, players on the team from last season. So but this team has been resilient in terms of um, their response and uh, bouncing back after a loss. Now, this is something for sure, tonight, syempre, masakit. Um, maybe a little, a lot of sleep this night, especially for us. You know, but uh, it's part of the game. It's part of the, it's part of the job, and I'm, I'm sure my players uh, are gonna figure out, figure out ways. They're gonna watch also the game, uh, and then we'll try to improve on, on, on things that we should improve on on both ends. Staying disciplined is is one thing that Coach uh, Gold always. Uh, you know, preaches not only to the big guys but to, to all of us, especially the, the type of defense we, we play. Hopefully, before the game on Monday, what's crucial for us is you know our next few practices. It's one thing to know kung ano yung mga adjustments, it's another thing to really apply them. And before you can apply them in the game, kilangan sa practice magawai. So, hopefully, it won't be a third straight time that you know Malik and the other guys could be in foul trouble. That, that had, had an effect. Even if that happened, let's say on a on a last shot, you know, there's so many things in a basketball game that builds up to the result, and I think it's unfair to to any player to point to just one moment in a game. Obviously, if he made that, that would have been big. I think it would have cut the lead down to to seven momentum slowly building on our side. But you have to ask the question also, paano rin dumating sa situation na and obviously in game one, we were on the other end while Ateneo was catching up. So what's really crucial 
uh, obviously coaches always say that walang nananalo sa first half but the first half always has a big impact on how the result of the game will be and how the second half would turn out so, so far it's been it's been a first half series that's key for both teams better such shot selection a lot of possessions you know uh, after one or maybe two passes instead of you know, different people touching the ball it was up in the air then those are judgments of the players and one thing that coach gold always says you know this is an imperfect game and sometimes you know the decisions of the players on the floor will be imperfect also I, I think it's just a matter of minimizing those imperfections especially against a, a very efficient uh, Ateneo team so that's one thing to your point that's one thing that really coach gold address so, you know, cross my hands right to that <laughs> So, <laughs> so good job. Yeah, the decision making is going to be key for us. The pattern is like that. I think season 84, game 1, and then game 2, right? Hopefully, you know, Lord willing, that's the result. But, you know, Coach Gold always, he's not really result for him. It's all about the process for him. And just like what I mentioned earlier, uh, before that big game, on Monday, in practices, namin, especially our mindset, our, our, our mental mindset, will be crucial for the next few days. You know, as a former player, parang ano eh, it can be good and bad. Kasi, it's not But at the same time, to your point, it's good for, because not only see si Zayf, you know, our team has been playing hurt the whole season, top of the list, you know, uh, you know in our preseason training, Carl. But that's the life of a basketball player. You're never 100% healthy. Any professional player, whether international or local. And I think what separates the good and the great players is how they endure, whether it's a small or a big injury, especially some big games. Again.